The content on this channel has been created for adults. If you're not at least 13 years of age or older, then please do not watch this content. Sorry, dude. Come back when you're 13. What's up guys? Welcome back to another vlog and happy new year. Happy 2020. No matter where you are in the world, I know some people it's already become 2020 and some of you it's about to happen in a few hours or less. So wherever you are in the world, I want to say happy new years guys. And look, we're going to get into this because just in case you're someone getting ready to have your new year celebration, I want you to be able to watch this and start off the new year right. Guys, Mises is back this has been dropped only within the past seven hours so this is his uh, new one called home we're gonna react to it it's another Nick Cannon disc guys I'm super excited about this because the last one he went off on let's get into this right now I don't give a fuck if Nick's beefing with M I didn't write guests because of the invitation I wrote guests because I'm sick of racist motherfuckers in hip-hop Nick Cannon being one of them okay that's interesting right off the back. So he's basically saying that he didn't even write uh, the guest track. That was his last one that became a huge, like just Nick Cannon diss like throughout the community. Um, but he originally didn't write it um, for that reason, for not because of the invitation. That's interesting. Matter of fact, invitation dropped December 9th. I recorded guest October 18th. I got the studio files to prove it. <laughs> So what a coincidence. So he actually wrote that before um, Invitation even dropped. So that's very interesting to know. So that means basically the narrative was just on point about, you know, uh, him being, you know, the, the whole white rapper, uh, you know, being a guest in hip hop and all that just happened to fit the narrative. Okay, man, that's interesting. Wow. And this time, so he's actually written it for Nick. Make no mistake, this is for Nick. And this is not a coincidence, this is intentional here. This shit personal, bro. Yeah. I'ma die for a motherfucker lie, dog. On a test, be my guest. Come to think of it, I don't even think in the last one that he even I don't think he mentioned Nick's name. So that could be proof that he's like he's saying what he's saying, because if he would have made it for Nick, surely out of the whole song he would have mentioned Nick's name at least once, right? Go ahead, try, dog. Fuck a fat sip of wide dog. I'm blowing out your eyeballs wide dog. Why you gotta bring the side of me, nigga? Ride on you quick, or you fucking ride on this dick hoe. So he says he's actually saying Nick's name this time, so definitely made for Nick specifically. And also, he's like saying right now, like, why did you have to bring this out in me? Like, I don't want to make a song happen to come this hard at it. Like, you know, he's like, why? Why'd you do that? Okay, so he's saying something about um, him, you know, doing something with the guys in the limo. I don't know if that's based on fact or opinion, um, but yo, he's he's already hitting hard, and we just started. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go back because I think he said. Okay, so he's like, look, M didn't he? He doesn't need to, uh, um, you know, be there to fight M's battles. M can fight, do his own thing. But he's like, you know, also in that same token, saying that, uh, yo, <laughs> Nick, the best bars that you've ever spit are M's. <laughs> so he's basically just totally just woo, just took him out with that line right there, man. I 
I love that hook. That hook is freaking hard, like just really hard, really hard. And I like how he's saying that. I'm, I'm not guess if you call me that again, like he's, he's taking it, man. It's just, and it's, you can imagine how he feels. It's like a huge insult, you know, to be told that. I told you guys, man, the whole race narrative, there's no place for it in hip hop. There's no place for it in life in general, anywhere. It doesn't matter what, whether it's music or just life that, you know, at the end of the day, music is global. Hip hop is global. The culture is, is embraced by people around the whole planet. It doesn't matter the color of your skin, your race, your gender, your freaking religious. It doesn't matter anything. That's how music should be. That's how life should be in 2020. Let's come together, y'all, for real. <laughs> Why you have to start it looking like Aladdin on his magic carpet because you guys know um, how Nick always rocking those freaking turbans and stuff. <laughs> Career never started. If I'm a guest, then you a host. Learn to play a part. But you ain't no host of hip hop. You a host in Hollywood. Act up, you get dropped. I know you people, nigga, been to your lab. Been put my Tim's on the board. That's how she's like, yo, man. He basically calling Nick a guest in freaking Hollywood. <laughs> Wow. Oh my gosh. When you mix your tracks, I drop your head like you drop tea and these are deals. You drop the race shit before I drop it for real. Drop it for real. Put you on your ass, niggas. Rapping ain't the only way that you can get your ass kicked. Make you fucking trash, bitch. Yeah, I'm supposed to bet. Hey, so you see what he's saying there? He's like, yo, look, man, at the end of the day, yo, I'll spit bars at you, but it's not the only way that I could take you down if you keep up this race stuff, man. Like, you know, like, I'm not condoning violence, obviously, man, you know, we don't want things to be getting all freaking violent like that and stuff. Keep it on the mic, you know, keep it on the mic, you know, keep it like that. But, yo, you know, at the end of the day, man, like, it's just stupid. The whole racist thing, it was an idiot thing for, for Nick to say, and I just... Ah, it's just an ugly thing. It's a bad look and I, you know, shout out to Mises for freaking coming at him hard and addressing saying, look, man, we, we ain't playing this crap, man. This, you know, I, I like it. I like it. I like best it. That you ever flow. Your career is the best joke you ever told. <laughs> Your career is the best joke you ever told. Get you out bubbling, run up on you. Whoa, whoa. I love this hook. I really love this hook. I love the whole track. The whole track is just on point. Hip hop is a culture. And I like how you also you saw it on the back of the jacket there. And I'm gonna send you all, motherfucker. Yeah. And just so we're clear, this ain't just for Nick. This for anybody out there talking that racist shit. Anybody out there saying that somebody don't belong somewhere because of the color of their fucking skin. It's a culture, not a color, but, um... Uh... Nick, Nick's letting, uh, uh, is letting you know right there. He's like, yo, at the end of the day, this isn't just only targeting you, Nick. Anybody out there who's talking that narrative, talking that crap, talking that nonsense, he's made this track for all of you. So if you're out there and you're hating, saying this freaking ridiculous stuff and, and bringing the race card into stuff that it shouldn't even exist, man, he's got you in his sights as well, man. So y'all just need to come together. Stop all the crap, man. Music is for everybody. Hip hop's for everybody. Let's be about the love in 2020. Hashtag spread love, not hate. Let's go. If you still feel differently, Nick, then feel free to come make me leave. Make me leave, bitch. <laughs> you can't, though. You know what? Sam's bars were the best that you ever flow. Your career is the best joke you ever told. I ain't scared him wet. Can't make him leave. If you can make him leave, go make him leave. Nick, go. He's, he's calling you out. Go and make him leave hip hop. You can't. I hope you regret actually saying that, Nick. I really do. I hope that you really realize that was not the best thing to do. That, that Eminem track's gonna haunt you forever, man. I, I fear it's gonna haunt you forever.
All right. I think that's the end of it, guys. Just make sure he doesn't have a last word or something. The hidden message. <laughs> it's like NF had that last message hidden in the last track. All right, guys. That's going to end that. Let me keep this. This is going to freaking start playing. Okay. Anyways, guys. Wow. That hit hard. Mises came back on point, didn't play games, this didn't mess around, didn't slur words. This was not a song that was put out prior to. This is a song after the fact that he has made specifically for Nick and anybody else that has this stupid narrative in their mind saying things like white people are guessing hip hop is freaking just the hugest, hugest, most embarrassing, ugly thing that. It should, no one should be saying anything like that in general. And it's like, again, I said, it's not just hip hop, it's anywhere in life. We are all people, we are all the same, we're all equals, we bleed the same color, blood. Let's all try harder in 2020 to keep this crap from happening because it doesn't belong in our society anymore. It's time for us all to come together. It's time for all of us to be about that love. So guys, happy new year again. And um, I'm glad I was able to get this to you guys before, some of you before the new year, some of you right at new year's. This is fresh, it's just dropped. And thank you guys for watching. I appreciate and thank all of you guys for 2019. Thank you for the support. Thank you for all the new subscribers who've come uh, just in recent times and everyone who's to come in the future. Thank you guys so much again for I just appreciate the love that we're getting on the channel right now much love remember to live 2020 to the fullest and I love you guys we are out